Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 30. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the One Make Races and the International A License. Um, we've got some interesting cars for the license. But what we are doing for the One Makes is we are going to be taking the Lotus Elise and then our super overpowered Corvette. Uh, so let's start off with the Lotus. We're going to a brand hatch for this circuit. And I want to see if everyone is going to be in the 111R just like us. Or if they're actually going to be in different Lotuses. It would be nice to see everyone in sort of different styles of cars. We are all in the 1-1-R though. Which could be a problem. Um, I'm going to bump our traction control down to 2. And we are going to get straight into the race. Right. Brands Hatch. Lotus Elise. We're the only one with a rear spoiler. Uh, funnily enough. So we're going to have the bonus of uh, downforce on our side. Right. We have 10 cars we need to overtake. Try and not spoil this. Perfect. Oh, watch out. We got cars coming from us in all different directions now. And there we go. Awesome. Ah, uh, this is going terrible. I hate the Lotus Elise. It is, it's one of the most British cars out there. But whoever designed it was like, oh yeah, we need a British car and we need it to be as light as possible and it's going to be amazing. And then you make it way too lightweight. Go-karts are more controllable than this thing. And the go-karts in this game are difficult. So that's saying some shit. Move. Get out of my way. Perfect. Come on, let me past. Let's get through. Nice. Perfect. Right, slow down here. Nice. Right, after this, we've got one more lap. Perfect. The turbo hiss is just ridiculous with this. It's like... Just a loud noise every single time. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Turbo hiss is the world's best noise.
I wonder what makes that noise, actually. Perfect. Very good, very good. Right, coming up to the last corner here. Last corner? First corner of the... Nah, I can't speak. Right, come on, come on, come on. Very good, very good. This corner's taken very nicely. And now we're coming up to the actual last corner. Finish. One minute 40 for that last lap. That's a very good lap. Very good lap time. Five minutes and four total time for that. Next up is the Corvette at Willow Springs, which is going to be really fun to do, actually. Right, let's see our car. Let's see our uh, bank balance get back up above 400,000, please. Right, nice. One make. Uh, where is our Corvette? Oh, what is wrong with our Corvette now? Oh, sports softs or less. Ah, we've got sports hards on now. Ah, might be a bit difficult with um, 800 brake horsepower at the wheels, but we'll see how it goes. Right, here we are at Willow Springs with our overpowered Corvette. Hopefully these um, sports tyres aren't going to be too much of an impact for us. Perfect. We have five laps to do around this track. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that corner was amazing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. At least this race won't take as long as the uh, last um, swap eight races. 12 minutes around the Nürburgring, like, the Nürburgring is one of the most boring tracks out there. It is terrible. Like, uh, not the um, big track. The big track is good. The GP circuit, though, is terrible. It's just not... It's not a very good track for cars. Something like this. This track is very good for muscle cars. Perfect. Very good, very nice. Yep, because this is how we're supposed to race now. I wasn't going to try and get back on the track straight away, because if you do that, you're just going to end up um, spinning your car out. I think we are getting into the very, like, difficult territory. 
Um, obviously, where we finished the Gran Turismo 5 series was when we got to difficult territory and we could not progress any further. Um, and I wasn't willing to sit down for like 10 hours just to try and grind up to level 25 just to get it. So, no. I really hope that they don't bring back the level system from uh, GT5, because if they do, um, I probably won't like GT7 at all. Um, I'd rather GT7 be structured like this, where you have like your first championship like series, and then you have to do a license, and you get forced to do the license to go and move on to the next one. Because that way, if you do all the races, it seems to be like a really good progression. Like, I've done every single race so far um, in all four of the, of the first four series. Obviously, the next one is International A, and then after that, it's the Super Series. Um, and we have done every single race in all of them. Perfect. And slow down. Nice. We're already on lap number four. I didn't even remember doing lap number three. Uh, time flies by when you're chatting. Perfect. We've obviously only got one more car to overtake. How are we not catching up? Like, we are in a Corvette with 800 horsepower. Do the other ones have extra horsepower as well, then? They must do. Nice. Perfect. Ah, oh, that couldn't have been cooler if we tried. Nice. Come on, get around the corner. I did want to try and do a lap where I didn't go off the track, but, uh, wow, well, that's straight in the bin now. The challenges are only going to get more difficult as well, especially the uh, International A license. That's going to be an absolute nightmare. Come on, come on, let's go. Very nice. Okay, so we weren't faster. But we did do some very good laps. Seven minutes point two. Very good. Awesome. Uh, replay, are you going to load so I can skip you? No? Thank you. There we go. I was wondering where that was going. There we go. 30,000 credits there. Very nice. And we are now moving on to the International A license. This is going to unlock the red zone. This is going to unlock 
pretty much the final proper series. Um, because super is just the endurance, the crappy endurance. Right, so first of all, we'll be driving a NSX, then the Corvette, then a Mercedes. I'm not sure which one that is. Don't hold me down on that. Uh, then the GTR and then a Ferrari F450. No. Ferrari 458 Italia. There isn't even an F450. Why am I getting the Ferraris mixed up? Right, so we're going for Cone Slalom first. 17.8 seconds that we are attempting here. Right, let's do this. Cone Slalom with the NSX Type R. Go, go, go. How do we already hit a cone? What the f- Ah, <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Let's go. Uh, for some reason, this cone slalom is a little bit tighter than the others. Okay, let's give it another try. That is much uh, narrower than the... Or it might actually be the same as the Golf 1, but obviously we're in a much longer car. And a much faster car. Oh, we hit the outside cone just. Oh, that was going so well. That was going so well. Here we go. Oh, that ghost nearly messed me up. Sixteen, seventeen point two. There we go. Uh, an entire second faster. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Some fast times there. Very fast times. Right, next up is the Ascari track. And we are going to be driving the Corvette Stingray. This time it's a stock one. 23.3 seconds we are aiming for. Right, here we go. We're at the Ascari track. Go, go, go. It feels so slow now. Crap. That, oh my gosh. Those cones are very far over. I see why they're there though. For sneaky fuckers like me that try to, uh... Completely cut that corner. Twenty two, twenty three point zero seven four gold medal. Thank you very much. It was good, only on the second attempt as well which is fairly decent for um, licenses. I'm getting much better at these licenses and sort of learning these driving lines. And since playing Gran Turismo, I've actually learned a lot more about racing than any other game that I ever played. Like Forza just doesn't help at all. Um, next up, we're on Matterhorn, 22 seconds. We're doing the exact same section as the Z4 on a previous license. Uh, which is interesting. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Mercedes, don't let us down. Whoa! Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, I think if we didn't slide at that last section, we could have done it. I feel like if we break just a tiny bit later too. Nice. 
We are ahead. We are ahead. Oh my gosh. Just got in there on the second attempt. 21.890 that time. Awesome. It's only taken... It's taken much quicker to uh, complete this license than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. Um, yeah, maybe not. But next up is Spa with the Nissan GTR. We are going around the hairpin corner. Oh, we're actually taking quite a lot of the track. 38.5 seconds we're aiming for. I have a feeling we may be taking one or two attempts at this, though. Right, we are here on Spa, and it is actually wet weather. It is 100% wet, so, um... This is definitely going to be much more... Much more interesting to try and drive around this track. Perfect. Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine. Okay, we got silver there. We'll give it one more attempt, but I have a feeling this might be a bit too difficult for us. Okay, so our other ghost has actually managed to overtake us. Let's uh, restart that, because I have a feeling it might be that first corner that we're going a bit too slow at. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, we went a little bit wide there. I have a feeling, so maybe it's not the first corner, but it's the second corner that we're going uh, a bit too slow round before. Well, drifting like that was perfect. Thirty-seven. Yes, we did it. Awesome. Thirty-eight point one six two. Nearly a whole second faster. Wow. I'm actually impressed with that. I was not expecting to get that um, gold medal on that one. Fair enough. That's a very good time there. Right, what is next? It is, I'm guessing, an entire lap. Oh, no, it's just a section. 30 seconds we're aiming for, for a 458 Italia. And we're going around the S section of Suzuka. This is like... Oh, it's wet track again. Hmm, interesting. Okay, right, here we go. At Suzuka with our Ferrari. I feel like staying in third is actually the key to this one. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. No way! No way! On the first attempt, did we just get gold? Wow! I'm actually impressed with myself. I did a decent time, and I messed up a lot on that. So I have a feeling I could go even faster than twenty-nine point four, which is already like 
five point well, we were five point five seconds ahead. Well, that's it done. That is International B done. Here we go. We got the International A license. Finally. All gold International A license. I've just noticed the license card actually uh, glows and changes colour. That is trippy. And we got all gold on everything, so... No way! High-end performance G37. Oh, look at that. That's a Lexus, pretty much, isn't it? I think so. What colour do I get that in? I think blue. Blue would be quite nice. That is awesome, though. That is a very good car to take for this. Uh, yeah, let's listen to that engine. Oh, ha, ha. that's a good sound. Very good sound. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Peace.